Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and a very good day to you all. Uh, in today's video, we are going to go learn about Petrov equation from the book Shigli Mechanical Engineering Design. Okay. So, let's continue. The bearing friction phenomenon. This is what is explained by Petrov. Has the name Petrov equation. Uh, the assumption of the shaft is concentric. Remember the word concentric. Okay, with its pushing. Do we sell sell them to make use of Petrov method of analysis in material to follow? Because it is important because it defines group of dimensional parameter. Okay, this Petrov equation. Uh, in reality, when uh, we are calculating the um, uh, all the calculation or equation and everything on the general bearing uh, it is easy to assume the shaft is concentric which it is which is pushing okay the general is concentric is if is pushing what does it mean like by that uh, this is general okay is it's a shaft is or actually is a shaft okay it is we will call this this topic we call a General and then when the general goes into its bushing, okay, we assume in uh, to to make assumption we assume the it is concentric with its bushing, meaning that it has the same uh, same coordinate as the okay. Concentric meaning that. It has the same coordinate with the uh, pushing. In reality, it does not, not does not happen because we, with gravity, it will go down. It will fall down. Okay. This picture I take from Google image. Okay, I take from Google image shows uh, bushing. Okay. Okay. This is the general. This is the general bearing. Okay, this is what we call uh, concentric with bushing. Okay, in order to make this equation, Petrov assume the general is concentric with the bushing. In reality, it does not concentrate because the general will fall down because of gravity. It's okay. Okay, um, we want to make an equation based on Petrov equation, okay, uh, and here is the uh, is is the oil sum where the oil is put here. According to Petrov equation, the oil is constant flow. Okay, the oil is constant flow and leakage is negligible. Okay, there is no leakage, but in reality there is leakage. Okay, no problem. Okay, we see here. In figure 12.3, uh, okay, Petrov lightly loaded general bearing consisting of shaft, general and if bushing with an exit groove, internal lubricant reservoir, linear viscosity gradient is shown at the end view, okay, you see here, and clearance C is several thousand of inch and closely exaggerated for presentation purpose, okay, where is C? You can see the clearance, uh, clearance. Okay, this is the clearance. In reality, if this the shaft will go down into the base, okay, it will hit, it will touch the metal metal of the bushing. Okay, there is there is in the reality. In order to make an equation, uh, this assumption, okay, we make uh, purposely the figure as a grid. Okay, to see the clearance. In reality, it doesn't. That's not. We cannot see the clearance because it is to uh, the shaft touches the bottom of the pushing. We can see the clearance up here, but in uh, to make an assumption, okay, there is a clearance here. Okay, there is a clearance here. You see here, this is the clearance between the bush at the bottom of the uh, bushing uh, the gen uh, the the general and the bottom of the bushing okay okay 
the gap is because of oil. You see here the term U, the name viscosity of the uh, the rotation of the general. W is the weight of the general itself, which is the weight of the shaft itself. Okay, this is the oil field where you put the oil here, and then uh, this is an hydrodynamic lubricant because the oil is flowing continuously flowing. Okay, uh, and this is the side leakage. Okay, side leakage is negligible, of course, but in reality, uh, this mu must be uh, a place there where um, the place that they, uh, where oil is can come out. Okay. So, sharing stress in lubricant, sharing stress in lubricant equal to velocity gradient time, then this is the sharing shear stress 2 pi r u n over c, which is Okay, uh, C is the clearance, 2 pi, R, R is the radial of the uh, general, okay, N is the rotation, okay, rotation, uh, rotation okay, so tong is post uh, of labor arm, okay, this is the tong, okay, 4, 5, uh, you can, you can read the, uh, the equation and everything, Okay. And if we now designate a small force of bearing by W in pound per, per force, then the press, then the pressure P of projected area P equals to W over 2 RL. The frictional force is FW where 4 F is the coefficient of friction. Okay, so the frictional force is T equals to FWR. Okay, you get this equation 2 R power of 2 F. L P, okay. Substitute the value of tau and solve the coefficient. We find F equal to this. You will use the, back this equation when uh, we are doing uh, the example uh, to find the viscosity, the correct viscosity for your lubricant. Okay, this coefficient of friction. Okay, it uh, because it will determine which uh, type of lubricant that you want okay okay equation 12 6 okay is the petrov equation published in 1883 the two quantities of this are very important parameters in lubrication sub situation of this appropriate dimension in each parameter we show that they are dimensionless the bearing characteristic number or sum of field number is defined by the equation this. Okay, this is the bearing characteristic number. Okay, R over C, power of 2, U, N over P. Very important lubrication analysis because put the manner of the parameter as specified by the designer. Okay, note that it is also dimensionless. The sum of field number is dimensionless. Quantity R over C equal the radian clearance ratio. Multiply both, we get this. Okay, 2 pi uh, power of 2 S. There is, uh, there is table. When we learn uh, in the next video, when you are selecting the bearing characteristic, the type of lubricant that you want, you will extrapolate the uh, table. Okay, you we extrapolate the graph and and then you will choose the, this table according to the uh, Petrov equation and according also to sum of the number. Okay. So that's all for this video. We will see you in the next video on stable lubrication. Okay, thank you very much.